Hi guys, it's BrieveOS here and welcome to the channel. And in this video, we'll be showing you guys how to deal with the alert controller with text field inside it. So at the end, your application will look like this. You will have the button and when you click on it, the alert controller will pop up with two text fields alongside with action. So the first one is cancel action and OK action. And the password text field is also encrypted. So say for example here, username and pppppp and if I click OK, it will be pushed to another view controller alongside with the data. This is just to show you guys how to pass data between view controllers, especially inside the alert controller. So that's it. Well, let's start. New project, single view application, alert, text, field. Next, create. Before we deal with the alert controller, I would like to just prepare as the second view controller first. So just go ahead and right click on this one with new group. I'm just going to name it simple view controller and right click at this folder and then just new file. Coco touch class next. And it's a subclass of UI view controller. I'm just going to name it simple view controller. Also create XIB file. Next. Create. First, let's go over to the XIB file. This is the representation of the simple view controller. Simply, I'm just going to add label. Here, I'm just going to copy and paste this one. And uh, yep, don't forget to add the constraints and that's it. Next, let's go to the assistant editor and I'm just going to control and drag the label to simple VC. I'm just going to name it user label. And next is the password. So password label. Close the assistant editor. Go back to simple view controller swift. And as you can see, we have two attributes here. We need just to create two more of them. So the first one is a string value for the user label and the password string value for the password label. Next, let's implement view did load. So when the simple view controller is loaded, then we can set the label for the user label and the password label. So I'm saying here user label dot text will be equal to user string as well as this one. So password label dot text will be equal to password string. And what we need last is where to set these two values, right? So we need another function. I'm just going to create one simple one. I'm just going to call it custom init and we'll take two parameters. The first one is the string. So I'm just going to type the same name, type string. And next one is also the same name, type string. And also, of course, password and user string. I'm just going to type self in front of it just to distinguish them. And then equal to user string and equal to password string. And that's it guys, we're done with the preparation for the simple view controller. Next, let's go back to the very first main core one, which is the main the storyboard. So this one just gonna add easy, just add one button. And I'm just gonna change this one. So display alert with text field. Let's bring it up a little bit. And then don't forget to add the constraints. Next, let's open the assistant editor. And I'm just always just control and drag this one to our view controller and then create an action connection. I'm just gonna name it display alert action. And that's it. Let's close the assistant editor here. And then go back to view controller. And I'm just going to move the function down a little bit here. 
Well, now when that button is clicked, this function will be activated. So we're just going to implement this first. So let alert controller equal to UI alert controller with three parameters. The first one is the title. And let's say sign into brief OS. Next parameter is message, which there will be no message. Next is preferred style, which is of course alert. Well, next let's add text field. So alert controller dot add text field. Just pass in user text field. And I'll explain you more about this later. Controller dot add text field password text field and of course there will be an error because user text field doesn't exist so I'm just gonna create one first the same name here UI text field and then I'm just gonna create another more so var UI text field and this parameter here is actually accept a function not a variable so I'm just gonna create function with also the same name so it's easier to understand function this one and we'll take specific parameter which is UI text field and then inside here we are going to initialize the user text field so user text field will be equal to this text field and then also user text field now we're gonna set our the placeholder to be example at icloud.com and that's it we're done with the user text field I'm just gonna copy and paste this one for the password text field password text field password text field and I'm just gonna change the placeholder to password and the last one this is the different one which is is secure text entry and we're gonna set that to true now the errors are gone so what actually happened here we just say add text field and with the handler user text field which is this one it will initialize the text field from here as well as the password text field the handler will call this function to initialize the password text field so that's it we're done with the text field let's add the cancel action and okay action so let okay action equal to ui alert action with title okay style default handler self dot okay handler so let's create one first function okay handler I'm just gonna scroll down for you guys to see okay and then with one specific parameter which is UI alert action so what OK handler does is actually just um, push to another view controller alongside with the data the username and the password so first let's create the simple view controller so simple view controller will be equal to simple view controller and then we now can set it the data via custom in it then we're gonna pass the user text field dot text and then password text field dot text also we have to unwrap them I believe here we go just add them and now we are ready to put to simple view controller so self dot navigation controller dot put view controller and of course we're gonna put simple view controller with animation but first let's please go back to our main storyboard to add navigation controller so main storyboard click on the whole view controller editor embedded in navigation controller and that's it we're ready to push to another view controller what is left for us is just one more function I mean action which is cancel action UI alert action I'm just gonna copy these parameters 
and say here is uh, cancel and with the I believe is cancel style and with no handler so we do nothing now we have created two actions so now let's just add them so alert controller add action okay action and that's it just gonna copy this line and paste it right here replace okay with cancel action and now we're fully done initializing our alert controller so first we have created alert controller with title signed into brief os with no messages and with the alert style and then we add two text field the first one is user text field which will be calling this function here the second one here is password text field which will be calling this function here and then we create two actions okay action which will activate the handler okay handler here which will just create a simple vc and set the two strings and then we'll push to another view controller which is simple vc and the last action we have cancel action which will do nothing and then we add these two actions to our alert controller the last thing we need is just to present them so self dot present alert controller with animated true and now let's run our application and here we go we have the button and when you click on it the alert controller will pop up and you can type anything here and if you click cancel nothing will happen again if you click ok so username at icloud.com with password p p p p p p p p p p p okay and then it will push to another view controller oh and that's it guys thanks for watching to the end of the video and if you find this video helpful please leave a like or subscribe and if you have any question or any suggestion please just leave them down in the comment section below and everybody let's just keep coding and we'll see you guys in the next one